Hi kids, I just got a new sweatshirt. Look, who would win? Sweatshirt. Today I'm gonna read Whale versus Giant Squid. Teachers, kids, I'm not gonna read all the little fact boxes, okay? I'm just gonna read the book through. You can read the fact boxes at home by yourselves. So here we go. Whale versus Giant Squid. What would happen if a whale swam near a giant squid? They are both carnivores, or meat eaters. What if they had a fight? Who do you think would win? Scientific name of a sperm whale, Physeta macrocephalus. Meet the sperm whale. It is one of the world's largest whales. All of the biggest whales are baleen whales, which means they have no teeth. The sperm whale is unusual. It is a big whale that has teeth, but only on its bottom jaw. This whale looks like a big head with a tail. Its scientific name means blower with a big head. It is the largest of all toothed whales. The sperm whale has the largest head of any animal that ever lived on Earth. Meet the giant squid. The giant squid is a mollusk. A squid belongs to a group of mollusks called cephalopods. Cephalopod means head foot. A squid looks like the head attached to legs. It has eight legs and two extra feeder arms. The legs have suction cups. The feeder arms have hooks and suction cups on the ends that act like hands. The giant squid has fins for steering. It propels itself by sucking water into its head and squeezing the water out. A squid works the same way as a jet engine. A giant squid can be 60 feet long and weigh 450 pounds. Most giant squid that have washed up on beaches are 20 to 30 feet long. That is a lot of calamari. Whales are mammals. The people reading this book are mammals too. Here are some other mammals. Dolphin, monkey, kangaroo, dog, rat. Definition, a mammal is a hairy or furry warm-blooded animal that has a backbone and feeds milk to its young. Squid are mollusks. Here are examples of other mollusks. Mussel, octopus, clam, snail, cuttlefish. Eyes. The eye of a sperm whale is only about two inches wide. Here is a human eyeball. Here is a giant squid eyeball in comparison. The giant squid eyeball is the largest eyeball in the world. It is as big as a basketball. Its giant eyeballs allow the squid to see at great depths. The sperm whale has long teeth. The teeth are shaped like sidewalk chalk. Notice that it has no teeth on its upper jaw. When a sperm whale closes its mouth, its bottom fit into the indentations on its upper jaw. Beak. Between its eight legs and two feet arms is the squid's mouth. It does not have teeth. Squid have a beak. It looks like a parrot's beak. The beak is made of chitin, a material which is like your fingernails. Tails. The tail of a sperm whale can be 16 feet across. Whales have horizontal tails. Fins. The body of a giant squid is called a mantle or torso. At one end are fins. The giant squid can use its fins to steer. It can also reverse the motion of its fins to swim backwards. Oil. Sad but true, before the discovery of petroleum, whales were a source of oil. It is estimated that 600,000 sperm whales were killed for their oil. This is what a typical Nantucket whaling ship looked like. They would often leave port and return four years later. Cash reward. No one has ever caught a giant squid and kept it alive. If you ever catch one, it may be worth $1 million. Someone will be willing to pay it. Dinner. Sperm whales eat giant squid, squid, stingrays, octopus, and fish. Supper. Giant squid eat fish, shrimp, and other squid. They grab food with their long feeder arms. The feeder arms have sharp spines on the ends. They pull the food into their mouths. A sperm whale can swim 25 miles per hour. A sperm whale can dive a half a mile deep. Speed. A giant squid can swim 20 miles per hour. It is not known how far a giant squid can dive. It can dive deeper than a whale. A giant squid is more agile than a whale. It can change direction suddenly and swim backwards. In deep water, the whale relies on echolocation to find its way around. It finds its food by bouncing sounds off its prey. The whale is lucky compared to a squid. A giant squid cannot hear. There are many things we don't know about the sperm whale. We don't know why they do not have teeth on their top jaw. We don't know how many get killed by giant squids. 
ink. We don't know how long a giant squid lives. Sometimes scientists think it is only three years. We don't know how deep they dive. We don't know how many there are. We don't know where they live, but it appears they prefer deep, colder water. We don't know why no one has been able to catch one alive. Famous Whale. Moby Dick is a famous American novel written by Herman Melville. The whale in the story is a giant albino sperm whale. Moby Dick bit the leg off a captain who vowed revenge. In the end, the whale rams and sinks the ship. The story was based on a real sperm whale that rammed and sank the Nantucket whale ship. A nonfiction book was written about the event called In the Heart of the Sea by Nathaniel Philbrick. Famous legend. For hundreds of years, sailors around the world have been afraid of giant squid. A legend is that they come out of the deep and are so large they can swallow a ship. Science fiction writer Jules Verne wrote about a giant squid attacking a submarine in a novel called 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. The whale dives, it's looking for food. It sends out sound waves, hoping to find a nasty meal. It senses a few false small fish. The whale is hungry. It is looking for a nice giant calamari dinner. The giant squid is in the deep water and out of range. The giant squid decides to move to shallower water, an easier place to find food. Most fish and squid live in water less than 200 feet deep. The whale senses the giant squid a quarter of a mile deep. It dives deeper. The giant squid doesn't notice the whale right away. The whale clicks a few sounds, locates the giant squid, then attacks with its mouth open. The whale grabs a small piece of one of the squid's arms. The giant squid blows ink in the whale's face, then darts away. The whale swims after the giant squid. The squid sees the whale and decides to attack first. The squid realizes it is in for a fight. It puts all its legs and feet arms on the whale. Suction cups and hooks scrape the whale's skin. The squid tries to hold the whale down until the whale runs out of air. Its plan doesn't work. The whale maneuvers and bites a chunk out of the squid in a few of its squid arms. A few more bites and the giant squid is in deep trouble. The whale thinks the giant squid is delicious. The whale wins, but it has sucker and scratch marks all over its head. That fight hurt. Thanks kids for watching. That's Jerry Pilata reading Who Would Win? Whale versus giant squid. Thank you.